Hey, Bull Pups, it's Mrs. Roberts here. I am going to read the story to you called Mudge Loves His Blanket. This is one of the stories that I know the kids that come to Miss Copeland's room loves to hear about Mudge. So we're going to get into that right now. This is something also Miss Rye said you can do AR online now. So first of all, I'm going to look. There is your AR quiz number. Make sure that you put that number in. You can write it down. You can back this video up. Take a look again. Pause it there and write it. But that's the number you're going to need to do this particular story in AR. And it is worth 0 0.7 points, so you can earn your points. We all know Mudge. He's a big, adorable puppy. And we're going to look here. He is playing tug of war, it looks like, with Henry. But I don't know yet what this story is going to be about, other than I did look at the title and it said that he loves his blanket. <clears throat> this is Mudge. He is Henry's puppy. Mudge has a blanket. See his green blanket with the stripes? Mudge loves his blanket. I think he loves his blanket. Here's Henry. Here's Mudge. There's his blankets. He sleeps on it. He hides under it. Hiding. He takes it places. And takes it in the car with him. See, it's down here. There's Henry. Henry's showing everybody. He's in a seatbelt, too. That's a really good thing to be in when you're riding in a car. Should be over his shoulder, though. Something wrong with that picture a little bit. <clears throat> Sometimes he loses it. Uh-oh. What do you think Mudge is going to do? He does not look happy here. Where? Is Mudge's blanket now? Hmm, Henry doesn't know. Mudge doesn't know. I bet he's sad. Henry looks on the chair. Mudge looks on the chair. No blanket. Henry looks under the bed. Mudge looks under the bed. No blanket. Mudge is so sleepy. He needs his blanket. Mudge sniffs. He sniffs and sniffs and sniffs. Mm, what do you think he's smelling? Good Mudge. He sniffed all the way to his blanket. Where was his blanket? He didn't take it out of the car. Now he can rest. And that's the end. So when you think about this story, I want you to think about what happened at the beginning. What happened in the middle? Where did they go? And then what happened at the end? There was a little bit of a conflict in here. This was one where Mudge lost his blanket and he had to find it. And as I'm looking through, you can stop this now and back it up and watch it again if you want to take your AR as long as you're looking at it two or three times so you know the story before you do your AR. But I also like to ask questions when we're in Ms. Copeland's room. And I say, well, who is Mudge? I would ask. And if you would say, hmm, he's Henry's puppy, you would be right. And then I would say, what does Mudge love? Hmm, that would be his blanket. What's he do with his blanket? Well, he sleeps on it. He hides under it. He takes it places. But then he loses it. Where did he look? Did he look in a kitchen cabinet? No. He had Henry helping him. Did he look in the washing machine? No. Henry looks on a chair and so does Mudge. Then where do they look? 
Do you remember? Next, they looked under a bed. Did they find it? No, it's not under the bed. Mudge is sleepy, isn't he? What's he do next? Hmm, he can't rest. He needs his blanket. Then what happens? Something tells me he knows how to use his nose. He sniffs. He sniffs and sniffs and sniffs. Where does he find his blanket? How does this story end? Do you remember? I remember. I remember that good Mudge sniffed all the way to the car and he found his blanket. Then after that, what did it say? It said, now he can rest. So I hope you guys get some rest too. Take your AR test, watch this video again, and get some rest so you're all ready again for the next lesson. I hope you have a good day. See you later.